Hello again. It's May 27th, the Friday before Memorial Day. And uh, I just thought I'd do a quick walk around. It's been a couple of days and actually, believe it or not, we've had over eight inches of rain in the last three days. Eight inches, you heard right. So things are definitely leafing out. can see this got beat down a little from the rain. Caladiums, however, are looking really well. They've all leafed out. Bird's a little squawky because both cats, Mimi and Baby, are out. This Datura is full of blossoms and I've left one fruit. I just want to see how, what develops of that fruit. I was afraid to let too many develop because it might trigger the plant to stop blooming. Banana trees are now up over my head. The rain actually broke this one leaf. I'll have to cut it out. Not the end of the world. It'll, other leaves will come back quick enough. There's Miss Mimi. Miss Baby is over here sleeping. Oh, I see an animal has been here digging last night. I'll have to fill up the holes. One of the things I wanted to take a closer look at was my cycads. You may remember earlier in the year, I cut these this Y-shaped one back, and I talked about the male blossom. They have two types of blossoms. I'm gonna show you the male one today. To get a better view, <laughs> I pulled out my old man ladder so I could look over the top of it. I need something that I can hold on to while climbing. Oh, goodness. Positioned here. Okay. There you can see the male cycad flower. It'll be about three foot tall, ultimately. It's about two and a half feet tall right now. What I did want to mention is you'll notice no new leaves have appeared yet. So it's just a warning, had I cut these old leaves off, there would be absolutely no leaves around this flower. So it's just something to think about. And I had mentioned it when I cut the other cycads, you kind of have to pay attention to the growth in the center to see whether it's gonna be a flower or if it's just gonna be a bunch of leaves. I did do this once before, that's why I figured I would warn you it doesn't hurt the plant in any way but it will produce flower at the expense of leaves and then after the flower wilts then a bract of leaves will come out so it doesn't really hurt the plant but it just looks kind of odd with a flower and nothing else there Ooh, it's noisy out there out at the street I guess it's weekend traffic I'm not going to give a, a whole tour of the backyard. You've all seen this enough, but I thought I would at least share with you. Still getting strawberries. I'm getting about two or three a day. Their quality has improved enough that I do like them now. Let's see if the blueberries are doing anything. Oh, not quite yet. They're getting a little bluer. Oh, I should show you the top of this palm tree because it's doing real well. These cycads have really leafed out. Again, these were the ones that, well, I didn't trim these back all the way. I just pruned them a little. These are not going to bloom. So if you look inside of them, it just has other leaves coming. 
I did plant my fatsahedra, the cutting that I took last fall and planted it at the base of this. I also took the little trellis out. My plan is to take that cutting and uh, let it grow up the existing stems of the old fatsahedra. David is getting enveloped by the Fatsia japonicas. And let's see if I can get a view up. Yes. My Canary Island date palm. You can see that still has a little bit of damaged fronds at the bottom, but we've taken out the majority of them. And the new green top is coming nicely. Let's see if I can take a longer distance picture of that. Well, but for the electrical line running through, you get some idea of what it looks like back here. So the Canary Island date palm is doing well. And that double one, as well as this one, is a windmill palm. And they're doing pretty well too. It's I'll have to check when I put that video out on fertilizing because palms need fertilizing four times a year. And when we get eight inches of rain like we do, it really does wash the rain, wash, washes the nutrients out of the soil. Okay, I will leave you with my Canary Island date palm today. Have a good Memorial Day weekend.